Hey friends, it's Pastor Matthew from Glencoe. How are you? I hope you're so well. I'm so sorry that we can't be meeting in person this month. I was so looking forward to seeing all of your faces and hanging out with you and having fun. But unfortunately, we just can't because of everything going on. But what we can do is show God's love through doing something fun. What do you think about that? So, our scripture for this, this event is 1 John 3.18, and it, it basically tells us that we must show love, not through just speaking it, but through actions and doing. We must show what this love looks like. And a good way of thinking about it, friends, is how do you show love to your parents? How do you show love to your brothers or sisters? How do you show love to your aunts and uncles? How do you share love to your friends? How do you share love to your pets? We share love in different ways, but friends, because this is how we want to show them. And Paul, he was an apostle. He was a very important apostle back in the day after Jesus had already died and risen up into heaven. And he went around and started a bunch of churches in a lot of different areas. And he was always trying to show his love for them and helping them out. And he wrote letters to all of these different churches. And one of the letters to the Corinthians, which was a Roman controlled area, he says this little part about love. Listen in. Love is patient and love is kind. It isn't jealous and it doesn't brag and it isn't arrogant and it isn't rude and it doesn't seek its own advantage and it's not irritable and it doesn't keep a record of complaints. It isn't happy with injustice but it is happy with the truth. Love puts up with all things and trust in all things and it hopes for all things and endures all things. He was telling these Corinthians friends that love is so important and love is so pure and love is a way that we can show the world who God is. Because God is all of those things. God endures. God is love. God is not irritable with us. God wants us to be successful. God wants us to be hopeful. God wants us to be faithful. God wants us to feel loved. During this time when Valentine's Day is coming up, there are many people who need love. They need to feel loved. And today... We are going to show them love. So what you're going to do is you're going to see some examples of how to make some cards to send to some of these folks who need, the, need love. So friends, I hope that you have fun doing this and make some cards, send them out so these folks can have some love shared by you this Valentine's Day season. I look forward to to having you do this. But wait, but, but wait, before you send them, take a picture or get your parents to take a picture and tell them to send them to us here at Glow so we can see the awesome cards that you sent in. You don't, you don't have to tell us who you're sending them to, but we would love to see these awesome cards to see what you did. Because we love seeing all the cool things you do, okay? So send it to the email on the screen. Just tell your parents, send it to the email on the screen below. All right, have fun, friends. Shh. Hi, boys and girls. I'm here to read another book for you in the times we're going through now with the coronavirus or COVID-19. I'm sure you've heard your parents talk about it when we wear our mask and can't do all the things we normally do. It's a book called While We Can't Hug by Ian McLaughlin and Polly Dunbar. And I would like to say a special thanks to Faber Publishing for allowing us to read this book to you. If it wasn't for their generosity, we would not be able to do this. So listen up, kids. It's a pretty good story. For all the children who can't hug the ones we love. 
Hedgehog and Tortoise were the best of friends. They wanted to give each other a great big hug, but they weren't allowed to touch. Don't worry, said Al. There are lots of ways to show someone you love them. Hedgehog tried to wave. That made Tortoise smile. Tortoise made a funny face. And that made Hedgehog <laughs> laugh. Hedgehog wrote a letter, and Tortoise wrote one back. And when Tortoise did a little dance, Hedgehog joined it right in with him. Hedgehog blew a kiss across the gap between them. Tortoise saw it and caught it and kept it. And sent three back again. Tortoise sang a song. Hedgehog played along. La 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 la. They both painted pictures so that everyone would know they were friends. Through rain and shine. They could not touch. They could not hug. But they both knew that they were loved. Thank you for listening, boys and girls. This is a very good story and very appropriate for the times we're going through right now. So remember, when you can't hug somebody, you can send them a kiss through the air or write them a letter. Thank you for listening. Hey, everybody. I'm going to go over a way you can make a cute Valentine's Day card to share the love. You're going to want to start by grabbing a, a white piece of paper, of course, and fold it in half. You want to do the hamburger fold, um, so it'll be like that. Um, and then I want you to grab a few different pieces of colored paper. Now, don't worry. If you don't have colored paper, you can always use white paper and just color it with any crayon. Now, I got a few different colors because I'm going to cut out different sizes of hearts. So, grab your paper and cut out some different sizes of hearts and meet me back in just a minute. All right, now that we're back from cutting out our hearts, you're going to see, you see mine are different sizes, so I'm going to be able to layer them on the front of my card. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it in half. After I fold it in half, I'm going to tape it down to the card or glue it so it'll stand up a little bit. I've got my tape right here, or like I said, grab you some glue. Whatever you think will work the best. Push it down on the card. See how it kind of stands up? Now I'm going to take my next one that's the next size. Fold it in half. Get my tape. My handy dandy tape. Roll it up. Put it on the back. Smush it down where I can, where it'll be kind of layered. And next, I'm going to grab my third heart, grab the tape, put it on top of this next heart. See? See how it's making a nice layered kind of three-dimensional card, a 3D card. And then I'm going to grab my last little heart, put it on here, tape it down. See how that looks on the front? Then you can write a message at the top, right? Or right, Happy Valentine's Day. On the inside, I wrote a quick message. I hope you are doing wonderful. Love your friend, Lisa from Glow Glencoe. So that everybody knows where it came from because we want them to know it came from Glencoe. I hope you have fun making your Valentine's card and sharing the love with someone in our church. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Hey friends, I hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to uh, show you another option for our Share the Love event cards. Um, so we call this one Love You to Pieces. And the materials that you'll need is the construction paper itself for the card, some scissors, a couple of markers, glue, and then some different colors of paper. So 
This reminds me a little bit of um, one of the crafts we did a little while ago for our Vacation Bible School when we did the um, the pieces of paper that looked like stained glass windows. So it reminds me a little bit of that, and that's why I wanted to do um, this card for you today. So first you take your card itself, and I had some black construction paper on hand, so I'm going to use this black construction paper, and I'm going to fold the card to fold the piece of paper in half to make the card. And so what I did, I drew the heart and I love you to pieces on the front of the card. You can um, fancy up your letters if you want to. One idea is put little dots on your, on your letters. You can do this however you want, but you can just write, I love you to pieces on the front, draw a little heart. And then uh, what we're gonna do is take your multicolor pieces of paper and just um, they don't have to be perfect but just cut out some pieces of paper just little pieces doesn't have to be perfect square or anything and what we're going to do is after we've cut our little pieces of paper we're going to take those little pieces of paper and glue them into the heart on the front of the card um, and so it'll be really pretty with lots of color and it'll make our, um, the people who receive the card so happy. So I'm going to do some orange next for my pieces of paper. You could even use tissue paper for this if, if that's what you have on hand, if that's what you have at your house and maybe you don't have quite as many colors of paper. Or if you just like the tissue paper better, absolutely you can do that. It's all about just using what we have on hand. So. Luckily, this one doesn't take a whole lot of different supplies, and you can get creative and do your own twist on this as well. So, so what I'm going to do, I've cut up these little pieces of paper in the multicolored paper, and I'm going to glue those into the, the heart on the front. So, I've got my glue stick here, and I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and stick it on the heart. And what you want to do is just make sure that you kind of keep that shape of the heart as you are gluing the pieces of paper on. No specific way. I think just you can just glue them in there messy and add all that color. I think it looks really pretty. So let me do a few more pieces here. So this is kind of the start of it that I have. So you see I'm gluing them into the, the middle of the heart here. So fill up your heart with the different pieces of uh, colored paper, and once you do that, make sure you write a little note in the in the inside of the card, and uh, you can put thinking of you, hope you're doing well, all kinds of you know sweet messages that we can send our folks, and make sure you sign your name so that they know who it's from, and um, also you might want to write Glow Glencoe in there so that they know that. Um, you are part of our Glow Glencoe event, Share the Love, and that you created this special card for them. So, um, again, this is the Love You to Pieces option, and um, I know that you'll be super creative in creating the cards, and that you'll really touch these people's hearts. So, thanks, friends. Hi, kids. With Glow Glencoe, how are you? Um, this is Lindsay, and I want to show you a few different ways to use your hands to make some really fun Valentine's cards. Are you ready? Okay, so it doesn't take much to do this, um, but it depends on what you have at your house. So it's all good. Whatever works, works. Okay, so the first one I wanted to show you is the Thumb Body Loves You. And so what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a card. All I did was I took a white piece of paper and I cut a heart out. And I'll show you how to do this in just a second. And then on the inside, I took my finger, but you'll use your thumb because your thumb is smaller than mine. Um, you'll use your finger and you'll dip into some paint if you have it. Or even if you have a marker, you can draw on your finger with a marker and then put your thumbprint right here. Um, so I use two different colors of paint, um, but you can do whatever you want, be as creative as you want. And the reason I went ahead and did this is so that the paint would dry and I can show you exactly what you can do with it. So you're gonna wanna take a pen, just a black pen or maybe a thin black Sharpie, whatever you have. 
and you're going to make some little people out of the thumbs that you've created for their bodies. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's what I've done. I just put little faces on them and even some little hair and their hands are touching so that they're holding hands and it says thumb body loves you. And then it says down here, it's me, Lindsay from Glow Glen Co. Cause we don't want to forget that. That's where we're coming from. All right. And I told you earlier, I would show you how to make this heart. So we're going to put a background on this. I've got a different color piece of paper, hot pink, of course. So you're going to start by folding it in half hamburger style. All right. Make sure you get that crease nice and good. All right. And then you can draw your heart shape, half a heart shape right here. So what I'm going to do to make sure that it lines up really well is I'm going to take the heart shape I already cut out and I'm going to go just a little bit further out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, see what I did there? Now we can open them both up. And you see how if I were to glue or tape this down, it would be such a pretty little card to send out. All right, there's your first one. Now we're gonna do one more where we're gonna paint our fingers and our thumbs, okay? That sound good? All right, this one is called Love Bugs. Uh, so for this one, I went ahead and took a piece of paper that was a different color, whatever color you want, and I folded it in half hamburger style, just like we did that pink sheet. And then I did it again hamburger style. So now it's small. You can do it however you want though. This is just what I was wanting. So now it's a smaller card. And what I'm gonna do is show you how I got those thumbprints on the last card, okay? All right, and like I said, I'm using my finger because my finger is a little smaller than my thumb, but you can use your thumb, whatever you wanna do. All right, so you're gonna wanna take a piece of paper, just a little scrap piece of paper, like I did here, and you're gonna use this to put down like one or two little drops of paint. Okay, so I have some purple acrylic paint here, but you can use whatever paint you have. And all I'm gonna do is put one little purple drop here on my piece of paper. All right. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just make my whole finger purple. See that? And then just a little bit more, get the whole finger purple. All right, and then I'm going to take it and I'm gonna press where I want to really hard on my piece of paper, okay? So I'm gonna press right here and I would do this while not like I'm doing it. All right, see that there? That's a purple fingerprint. All right, I'm gonna do that with two other colors and I'll be right back. All right, friends. Look here, I've got my three bugs. Well, they're not bugs yet. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put my little features on my bugs and I'll be right back. All right, kids, I'm all done. So I let my paint dry and then I went in with my trusty pen and I made these fun little characters with the big old eyes and the antennas and just feet, not any hands, but you can do whatever you want for your love bugs. All right, and then went ahead and put Happy Valentine's Day and the love bugs. And now you can write whatever you want on the inside of the card as well. All right, we have one more thing to try, okay? Um, so this one, you use your hands, but not any paint. So if you don't have any paint, this is gonna be the one for you. So for this one, I took a different color piece of paper. You do whatever you want for whatever you have. And I just traced my hand, all right? So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that when you trace your hand, that your thumb and your first finger are hanging off of the piece of paper, okay? 
So what's going to happen is when you cut this piece out, you see how it kind of looks like half of the heart shape like we did earlier? It's going to turn into a heart, okay? And don't forget to connect this. Have your parents help you, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do now is since this is folded in half hamburger style like we did, and I've already traced my hand, I'm going to cut out along the edges. All right, I'll be right back. Look what I've done. So yours is going to look a lot different than mine because your hands are smaller than mine. And yours will probably look way better. But this is what I did here. As you can tell, I got rid of all of the edges. All right, and now when you open it up, what is that in the middle? Ah, oh, that's an upside down heart. So what you can do with this is flip it this way and create a heart and then you have a card. So you can write right here and then open it up and write on the inside too and give that out. All right, let me do that for you and I'll be right back. All right, so I know you're gonna make yours way prettier, but here's what I did. I put happy Valentine's Day and then when you open it up, it says, I love you this much. Your friend Lindsay from Glow Glencoe. Isn't that fun? All right. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a blast making your cards and know exactly what an impact you're going to be making on the lives of the people who receive these cards from our church. All right. Thanks for everything you're doing, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye. Friends, I hope that you've had fun making your cards this evening, and I hope that you um get to do things like this a lot of times whenever you want to show the love of those that you love you get to share it with everyone right gracie this is gracie my little my little girl she she's my little girl she loves the lovings anyways friends before we leave let's have a little prayer shall we will you pray with me okay let us pray dear god thank you for sharing love with us May we learn to love, and may we learn to show that love with everybody else around us. Lord, we love you, and we hope that we can be better disciples and follow you wherever we go. Amen. Friends, I've enjoyed this, but I hope I get to see you in person soon. Feel free to, um, to write me a card and send it in or write any of us at Glow a card and send it in. And don't forget those pictures to send to the email. I'll put it back down below, okay? It's right here, right around where Gracie is, where she's trying to lay down and get rubbed. <laughs> Take care, friends. Bye-bye.